Hello everybody, I'm Taylor Shaw, a museum educator here at the National Veterans Memorial and Museum. At the end of January, our museum discussed the USS Moniker, though we did not focus much on its crew. Today, I'll be sharing the story of Sia Hulette Carter. While the Union's military did allow black men to serve, the Army was segregated. segregated. The Navy was not, and allowed black sailors to serve alongside their white counterparts. Carter was a slave who stole a boat and paddled out to the USS Monitor in May of 1862. Um, and he continued on despite the crew firing a warning shot at him because they thought he was a part of a Confederate boarding party in the night. The Union military called slaves that escaped to them contraband of war, which was what allowed them to get around the Fugitive Slave Act, which was still technically in effect at the time. While not the first contraband to reach the USS Monitor, he would be one of the few given the option to enlist into the Navy, and he did so under his master's name. When, uh, when he, was, he was given the rate of ship's foy, which was a rate that the Navy specifically designed for contraband that they enlisted, and he would go on to assist the ship's cook in his duties. Carter would survive the sinking of the Monitor in December of 1862, um, after a founders at sea, but he would go on to serve on a wide range of vessels, the USS Brandywine, Florida, Belmont, Wabash, and Commodore Barney, and he would eventually be discharged in 1865 following a frostbite wound occurred um, in the service. After his military service, he settled down in a and married uh, Eliza Taro, having 13 children with her in the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area, um, where he worked as a laborer, and he would finally pass away in 1892. To learn more about veterans' stories and more about what we're doing to honor um, Black History Month, visit the nationalvmm.org for our website. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you here this time next week for more veteran stories.